if you want to shoot time lapse videos using your smartphone camera because you cannot always carry heavy camera equipments whenever you are traveling or you cannot afford for the expensive rigs. There are of course many apps that can shoot time lapse videos but the quality of the output is not very impressive or you cannot access the raw images to make the fine adjustments in post production. So in this video let's find out how to shoot time lapses using smartphone and how to make a time lapse remote for your smartphone camera. Here's the idea, when you press the call receive button on the headset with the camera app open, it clicks a photo. We will have to somehow automate this feature. So let's build a circuit that can automatically perform this action. PCB layout and the Gerber files will be available for download from the link in the description box below. You can use the same Gerber files to order the PCBs online. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com. Order very high quality PCBs for only $2 to make your projects look more professional. Even get free shipping on your first order only at jlcpcb.com. Select and drag the zip file containing the PCB design Gerber files into the web page to upload your project Gerber files. You can then use the Gerber viewer in the website to preview your PCB design and confirm that everything is alright. Then select your requirements like thickness, quantity, PCB color, etc. and save to cart. The quality of PCB is fairly very good. The board is thick enough and it is strong and sturdy. The patch and wires are tinned and the silk screen is clearly printed which helps while soldering the components onto the PCB. The circuit we are building now is called as a stable multi vibrator built using the triple five timer IC. It turns on and off the output with a preset time interval. Using this we can set the time interval between each photograph we want to shoot. There are many ways to film a time lapse or a frame lapse video. You could just turn on the camera in video mode for hours and multiply its speed using softwares. But you will need a lot of storage space for this method. So, I prefer to capture images in certain time interval and play them in required frame rate to get awesome looking time lapses. Now, take an old pair of headsets and cut off the speakers. We only need the 3.5mm jack. Remove the insulation and connect together left, right and mic channels wires that are in red, blue or green color and the two ground wires that are in golden color. By connecting any one wire to the ground, we can trigger the camera app. We are using a relay for this purpose. Later, I placed all the components in a plastic enclosure. I used hot glue to place the components and soldering iron to make holes for 3.5mm jack and potentiometers. The circuit is powered by a 9V battery. Later, I added a switch for convenient use and safety. We have finished building the circuit, now let's move out and test it out. Using the delay settings you can vary the time interval between each shot and by varying the shutter time you can change the on time of the relay.
Once you are done shooting the images, import them in sequence to the Adobe Lightroom software. Select a photo you want to edit and apply all the edits that you want to make. Then select all the images and hit the sync settings button. It will sync your edits to all your photos in one click. Then export the images and remember not to change the names of the photos because it will alter the sequence of the images. I will be using a software called Muavi for creating time lapse edits. Open the Muavi software and select slideshow wizard. Import all the edited images and set the slideshow duration according to the frame rate you want at the output video. For example, if you want 30 frames per second, then 1 second divided by 30 gives roughly 33 milliseconds. So 33 milliseconds will be your slide duration. In the transition settings, select no transitions and click the finish button. This will take a while and then export the video. And here's the result. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video with more awesome stuff.